want to get your thoughts on you know what does this even mean you know hyper personalization hmm. i mean that's a buzzword obviously um and something to to strive for um we we call this segment of one so what that means is you create a bespoke experience at every level right and through um, data you can actually achieve that maybe i'll give you an example i mean most banks uh, sit on uh, a treasure chest of data. You know, over years, they've collected uh, transactional data, client data, etc. Now think of it, most segments currently and the segment strategies are done based on asset under management, right? So you have, you know, um, retail, affluent, and then private banking, and maybe you have sub-segments. But what happens if we can actually divide those segments into other clusters, things like hobbies, you know, uh, profession, geography, or even religion, um, then it gets really powerful. Um, one thing we're working on quite a bit is this um, portfolio recommendation engines, uh, whereby we ingest data and we cluster based on client preferences. Yeah. And within client clusters, we then infer um, uh, recommendations. Sort of think of like the Amazon where, you know, when you browse, it says uh, readers like you have also read X, Y, Z, yeah, right? Yeah. And so the same, uh, uh, the same mechanism would then come from a portfolio proposal uh, point of view, maybe not directly to the client, but maybe as an assistant and empowerment to the RM for him to have a more value add conversation. Because okay. people want to compare themselves against, you know, the same peer groups, right? Yeah, so yeah, it's absolutely. always contextual. So I think hyperpersonalization means, you know, contextualization towards the clients and the clients' needs. And 